Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Two Hands on the Radio. What a gorgeous day out. I, I better apologize first if there's any wind noise. I know everybody gets nervous about the wind and, and that is the big, the, the big problem of being outside is wind noise. Um, I don't care, I, I can have a shelter for rain, uh, cold, snow, nothing really matters except wind. And so I apologize first if it gets, for some reason there's, there's too much wind noise. I just do the best I can with what I got. Anyway, welcome to the channel. Today, Bob has sent us, sent us, sent me a fantastic radio. Um, it is the Texan PL360. I've had this on my radar for a long time, and I just never, never, I, I just, there's all, there's too many radios out there in the world, I think. And, uh, he was kind enough to send this to me so we all could take a look at it. And here it is. This is, this, I think the, the big draw to this is, is going to be its unique shape. It's just unique and how it functions is unique. Might not be everybody's cup of tea. But in talking to him, um, just briefly and, and in other videos, uh, Texan, their ETM, Easy Tune Mode, I am so sold on that. It's just, it does so good. It does better than just sitting there and spinning the dial almost. I know it might skip a channel here or there, but it does so good that that I'm not afraid of a, a, a Texan that doesn't have a direct entry keypad. Uh, it's okay. So let, let's get into this and just see see what we got here packaged very nicely packaged which nobody cares about but me I think set that over there okay, let's not be graceful okay here we go we've got a nice size operation manual English so don't be afraid of that Let's uh, set this over here. Try to get organized while I talk. That's always difficult. It comes with uh, earbuds and also has a long wire extension you can uh, clip to the telescopic antenna. And here's the unique stuff. This is your AM radio ferrite bar. You stick this in to the top of the radio, can rotate it around, and that's your, that's, that's how you get your AM broadcast band. Gotta add that. Now here's what everybody's been after, if I can get it out. Oh, well, let's get that first. And a handy, look at this case. A nice case for it. Absolutely wonderful. Now that's awesome. So let's let's get into what everybody wants to see. Here it is. Now people are gonna say, well that's the same thing as the county com something or another. No, no, it's not. There is a Texan PL365, which is identical to the County Com GB something SSV. Uh, this does not have single side man, uh, where your, your PL365 has single side man. And for the price, single side man is not that important to me. Um, I've seen it priced out about double of this. And so it just, it's not that, it's just not that important to me. Plus it's awful hard to find because I looked for one and, and I can't find one. So, let me get my notes out here. Make sure we're all in focus and we're going to get rolling. It's like a, it reminds me of, well, it's bigger than those candy bar telephones, cell phones. Candy bar shaped. It is 6.25 inches long, 2.08 inches wide, and 
0.02 inches thick. And it's designed, I think it's designed to fit in your right hand where you can thumb through the tuning. I like to have my right hand free so I can write if I keep notes of anything or whatever. I'm still an old-fashioned paper person. But what do we have on the front? We've got a, a nice size display, very similar. Uh, I think this is going to be very similar to the 606 um, display-wise and function-wise. We've got our time display. There's the ETM function here. Alarm, uh, memory, uh, VF and VM modes for memory mode and frequency mode. FM stereo for your headphones, wherever that's located at. Uh, delete button to get out of, uh, if you want to delete memories. Power button, uh, medium wave AM broadcast, FM, and our short wave with our down arrow. I, why I always have trouble remembering this. I think the down arrow scans all the short wave, and the up arrow just scans what band you're in. Like if you're in 31 meter band and you hit that, it'll just scan that band and that's it. Speaker, very, very small speaker. Let's get the tape measure back out for some of this. Inch and, uh, inch and a quarter opening anyway. You know, who knows the size of the speaker in there, but inch and a quarter opening. And the rest is just, is just hand. So they put a, uh, do they have room for a keypad? They do. But, like I said, that's okay. On the right-hand side, we've got the tuning wheel. It's indented, very smooth. And that's where, I mean, it's meant to be held and just thumb through. Volume wheel, oh my, that is soft. Smooth, not soft, smooth. Oh, that's nice. Our... USB adapter here that we could charge our rechargeable batteries while they sit in here we can just recharge it. The back side we've got a handy handy belt clip looks like you could even put uh, the first thing I think of is a, a nail in the wall and hang it on a wall well I, I don't think you'd want to do that but you could do it. Uh, it's some kind of a, a thing I suppose a oh like a rivet on a uh, belt clip or something and you you know where it swivels and that kind of like on the old cell phones so we've got the clip the battery door here it holds three double a batteries i've put the rechargeable batteries in it so it's ready to go no i haven't done it yet let's do that the other radio i put batteries in early so let's do that now while we're back here Let me take it off camera for a second as I look to see what I'm doing. Okay, now it's in. I guess many of these things I forget which ones I put batteries in and which ones I haven't. Okay. It's always a good time to remind people that I haven't opened the box on any of this stuff and just, you know, you open it up and this is. What you see is uh, the first uh, unboxing and the first impression. And uh, then the left hand side, there's nothing, which it'd be either your hand can be there, your palm of your hand could be there. That's well thought out. And to keep that clutter free. The top, we've got our telescopic antenna. We'll measure it in a second. The AM antenna, what I was talking about earlier, fits right in the top like that. There's your, man, and that's a heavy bar, too. I mean, it's just got, it's not poundage, but it, it's got a really heavy, nice feel to it. Headphone jack right up here. So let's go ahead, and we'll be pulling that in and out, I'm sure. Let's look at our telescopic antenna. And just measure it quickly. Uh, about 18 inches. Of antenna very nice let's go ahead and I can see that you have to think about what you're doing with that little guy that's okay too let's uh, 
without further ado, display, we can look at the temperature. It's not 75 degrees, I guarantee you that. It's about 49. Our alarm time, very similar to the uh, PL606, PL380, uh, PL310. It's going to have that very same kind of display. I think they all use the same chip. And that's what I was reading. This has the SI4734. I don't know, 30, I remember 34. And the 35 chip is for single side band. And that's the difference in the, the 360 and the 365 is that. Anyway, enough of all the, the technical stuff. Let's dive into this and see what we can do. Power up. Oh, here's my volume. I'm probably going to hold this differently um, instead of like this. It's going to be easier for me to show you guys everything if I hold it like this and operate it and all that. So I'll be holding it a little differently than I would in the house. Let's just go to medium wave. We also have to probably before we do anything, we've got to set our 9 and 10 step we want the 10k for here in the US 9k for everywhere else so that'll go good uh, it's got the uh, the ETM function like I was talking about it will go and set it'll search and set everything into a temporary memory doesn't plow over anything you have in permanent memory and then you can just thumb through uh, and, and what it finds I love doing that before, uh, that's okay. It was a nice feature. I like sitting here just doing this myself. But now, especially with DSP, mute on tuning, things like that, let the radio do the work for you. Just relax and, and enjoy what it finds. I'm really, really digging that now. So it took me a while. You know, I'm old and, and change always kind of comes slow. But I'm, I, man, do not be afraid of that function. Now, are the radios that function? I mean, Texan is the only one that has the ETM function. Uh, others have a scan function or whatever. And those other radios kind of suck. So, you know, don't think that, that every, I'm trying to endorse every radio out there. The ETM function that is proprietary to Texan now that I'm buying into. That is some cool stuff. <clears throat> anyway, I can hear myself get hoarse that I've talked too much already. Let's get into this. And set it for medium wave and just hit the button here and let it work its magic. See what we can find. Of course, it's, oh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon or so. Uh, we're not going to get a tremendous amount of stuff. Like I said, it's found 25 stations already. Uh, there's no question. But where I disagree is when Great we audio. not look at... <laughs> okay. Can you imagine what this thing will do at night? Just appoint that second special counsel. Any evidence put them on the line for that those 50... And you saw how fast that it scanned. You can turn this bar. Kind of hard to get this little guy in the camera. You see how you can turn that and tune that station better. Wow, that's out of Indianapolis. At the half here in Detroit, Michigan. Boy, Nick, you, you look at this one. We talked about in the. He's probably going through a mixture. Oh, wrong line. My land. This thing, is, this thing is amazing. Absolutely amazing. To find this, found 25 stations uh, in the daytime. Absolutely amazing. And that's AM broadcast. 
So let's pull this out so we can get the other antenna up. The only negative, who would, who would ever think I'd have a negative about this? The only negative is you could lose this little guy. <laughs> let's pull the antenna out, set it someplace, put it on the back of, of the desk here, and drive off. That would be a, a oh, shoot moment. So that's, you know, now that's being nitpicky so far. But that, that just a warning for everybody. Be careful with that little guy because you're going to need that. Let's look at FM real quick. And we can just probably manually kind of roll around in it, I think. Just get an idea of the tone. Oh, we can do the scan. What the heck? You let it rip through here, see what it finds. My word, look at this thing go. This scans, this scans quicker than the 606 or the 380. That scan is outrageous. Huh. Just to show it anyway. My land. You know what I have a problem with? What I have a problem, I'm standing here as I thumb this, because I can think about other things while I thumb the wheel for everybody. What I have a problem with, I have no idea how to pick a favorite. What is a favorite out of this? This thing just blows my mind. Absolutely. A week ago, the 606, I would have said that is just, what an amazing radio. Still is. My gosh, that's an amazing radio. You would, I, it just, that thing just has leveled me out ever since I've got it. It's amazing. And, and uh, the 380, the 606, the 310, all those in that range, this, now this, here, this one, it just doesn't get any better. That's what I have a problem with. How do you decide on these? And I know somebody's going to ask and they're going to say, well, two hands. Compare the PL360 with the 606 and the 380 and the 310, and I, I, I have no idea. I'll just tell you right in the middle of the video, I have no idea how I could compare any of this. These are amazing radios. Okay, now please, Texan, send me some free stuff. <laughs> yeah, uh, like that would happen. <laughs> I, this is amazing. I talk about this as much as I want, because I'm a voter in the 4th District. That's not even, it may be turned up a quarter. I would hate to turn it up all the way, and somebody's got their headphones on. I chase them out of the room. Let's look at shortwave. We know what happened with the 606 when I did this, and it just, I about dropped the radio. It was so good. So let's just see what happens. I think if we go into shortwave... Hit the dent, and there's the down button where it'll do everything. Oh, well, let's just look at it. I'll talk while it searches. What you also can do is you save a two hands. I don't like this. I like to, to search through the bands myself. You can customize this with the memories to, to make it your own. You could go in and set the memories up uh, like the, the 31 meter band. And you could set it so when you scan a memory channel, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, channel 1, what I would do is channel, I would start at memory channel 2, wherever this starts at, frequency-wise, um, and make that like 2300. Channel 3 could be 3000, channel 4 could be 4000, memory channel 5 could be 5000. I think you're starting to figure out where I'm going. Memory channel 15 would be 15 megahertz, 16 megahertz on up. Then you just pick your memory channel and from there you're within a thousand, you know, turning the wheel for a thousand uh, kilohertz there. You could just thumb the wheel and, and find browse your stations that way. So it, it, it's so customizable and you could, you've got so many memories. I don't know how many memories this thing has. Let me look while this game. I see 450, 450 memories, so permanent memories, so you could go in 
every 500, every five megahertz, 500, whatever I'm trying to say, you could go in and, and really chip that thing apart. And, and like I said, that the memory function is there that you can customize this any way you want to. And that's the beauty of these radios. You don't, do you need a direct entry keypad? No. Would it be nice? Sure. But you don't need it. Um, how many times have I used the direct entry keypad on the 380? No, a handful, maybe. You know, if I know Radio Havana Cuba's on, then I'll go, or if VORW's on, I'll, you know, direct entry that way. But outside of that, I just do a scan, let it find everything, and I just sit back and enjoy whatever it finds. Anyway, I've preached enough on that. We can see we've already found 20 stations or so, 20, 21 stations. It's almost done. I think it's our typical frequency range. Oh, okay, it's 2300 to 21950. So it, it's the, the standard fare. There you go. First thing it finds, WWV, way down 5 megahertz. Do you believe that? Go backwards here. We're going backwards, I think. Absolutely amazing. There's 10. 10 megahertz WWV. Oh, there you go. Sounds nice. Yeah. You may not like me. Okay. Probably Radio Havana, Cuba there. Very cool. You know, I find this relaxing, and I know it's probably people just, just lose their minds over it that I can listen to this in a different language and enjoy it. I just listen to that and it's relaxing. And once in a while you'll hear something, something that you pick up that, that you know, identifies the station you're listening to or whatever. Okay, we're back. So it found, what did it find? 19 stations? I think it found 19. Yeah. Okay. Wow. And, I, you know, broad daylight, gang. Broad daylight. Show me another radio in this price range that has this kind of shortwave reception in, in the daylight. Um, I don't know. I just, I, I ooh and coo over these things. I'll tell you what. Um, absolutely love this thing. This is amazing. What an awesome radio. And I think that's just about the grand tour of it. Just the, the first impressions is, and, and it gets better after first impressions. Um, you know, I had said, um, with the 606, I said, as I use it and get more used to it, the rating may go up. My first impression rating of this, because I'm so used to this type of, of control panel, uh, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. I mean, it's just, it's fantastic. You look at, at the reception on AM, uh, AM shouldn't have found all the stations it found, you know, our local station or whatever, and that's about it. Um, the 606 at night, I hate to keep going back to that, I'm kind of comparing it, I guess. The 606 at night on AM will load the memory up. It's got 99 uh, temporary blocks of memory, and it loads that up on AM broadcast alone. And, and I have... Uh, the reason I say that is, is I have no doubt this would do the same thing at night. Absolutely amazing. And what fun 
is you can just sit. I can't show you comfortably. I'm all kinked up on the back of the, the, the desktop here, the truck bed. Uh, but just sit here at night and just hold it. And just, you can turn the wheel, thumb through your memories, and hold it and listen. And, and if you're like me, you drift off to sleep and drop it. We won't, we won't do that, I promise. But isn't that cool? Yeah, I easily an eight and a half out of ten. The six oh six is an eight and a half out of ten now, and the three eighty is an eight and a half out of ten. Uh, just because I've used them all those long enough that that they just get better as you use it and, and get more comfortable with it. Once you get comfortable with this, I tell you, I I just yeah, get you one of these is what I would say. Uh, fantastic little radio super sensitive um, and there again this is all subjective unscientific we're just out in the middle of nowhere with no interference and uh, you know it, it's I, I suppose other people think there are better radios I'm sure but boy I, I'm hard pressed to find them uh, in this price range now you know yeah the PL880 you can, let's put that out here and see what it can do um, you know, I, I, in this price range, around the $50 range or so, you can't go wrong. That is for sure. So anyway, I'll quit babbling now. I think I've talked more than I've done anything on this one. And I think we've looked at everything. And, uh, fantastic radio. Thank you, Bob. I appreciate this so much. And you just have no idea what your generosity does. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, if you think I talk too much, and if you think it's it's I ramble on and it's unscripted and, and there's not enough theatrics or pyrotechnics and you just absolutely hate it, hell, give it a thumbs up anyway. And, uh, you know, leave your comments below. Hit the subscribe button. 800 subscribers. I, I saw Brian, oh, I can't remember his, Brian 87.7 maybe or 89.9, whatever his user name is. He mentioned I had 800 subs. I hadn't even looked at it. And uh, 813. And, and thank you very much. I, I appreciate every one of you. I don't know what you see, but you must see something that you like. And that's cool. We just sit around. We just talk about radios. That's about it. And uh, maybe that's the appeal of it. That it's not scientific. And, uh, you know, it's just, it, it's just what it is. But welcome aboard, everybody. I appreciate all of you. If you feel inclined to help the channel out in the description box, you can donate to, through PayPal. There's a link there. Um, any amount is appreciated. If everybody gives a dollar, imagine the radio we could look at. Uh, $813. What would we look at? Wow. ICOM R8500. That's what we'd look at. I don't know. Maybe. Or we could go at JRC, uh, Japan Radio Company, NRD 535 for 800 bucks. Anyway, I'm wishing, you know, it never hurts to wish. But if everybody gave a dollar and you think, you know, well, that, that's nothing, that wouldn't help. Well, look what it would do. So every little bit helps. That's what I'm trying to say. And every little bit's appreciated. And there's also a wish list down there. The Amazon wish list got some camera stuff and battery stuff and and just a variety of stuff from all different price ranges uh, where you can send a gift. And just like Bob did and, and some other people have done. And, and it's very, very appreciated. And uh, wow, what a, what a great day this is. 50 degrees out. And uh, let's see if it, of course, now the, the temperature. See, it says 85 because the sun's pounding down on this. So that if we were in the shade, we'd get a, the correct temperature. So with that, I'm going to say go out and enjoy the rest of your fantastic weekend day, and we'll see you at the next review.